After popular demand, let's review the Bestec 500 watt power inverter. It also burned out my energy meter, and I will explain why. It's worth noting there are two versions available, one for $53 and one for $70, which I didn't know at the time. I got a cheaper one because all the reviews were positive. I believe many people order this one, believing it's a pure sine wave. There are some tests I do when reviewing an inverter. This is the power consumption, the sine wave, efficiency under load, and the max load testing. Let's start by checking the idle power consumption, by checking the battery's voltage. We have 13.15 volts. Let's now check the, the current. Let's zero it out. And we have 0 0.34 amps. That makes an idle power consumption of 4.5 watts. That's normal for this size inverter. Let's check the sine wave with uh, this oscilloscope. And we can see we have a modified sine wave, not what I was expecting. The sales page only shows that it's a modified sine wave at the very bottom. It should be in the title or at least in the main description. That's kind of tricky from the manufacturer. I believe many people order this inverter without knowing it's a modified sine wave, which will damage their electronics. The manual says it's 85% efficient. So let's test it with a 250 watt load. Let's measure the power going into the inverter. Twelve point nine six volts. And the current is nineteen point one amp. The output. One amp at two hundred twenty seven volts. We have an efficiency of ninety one percent for a medium sized load. That's quite good. Let's test the max load of the inverter which is 500 watts. This hair dryer has a function where it only turns on the fan without heating. And then I will turn on the 250 watt load and the combined load will be about 500 watts. You can see the Inverter is really struggling with keeping the sine wave. And now it just turned off. And I expect that the modified sine wave burned out the energy meter. So would I recommend this inverter? No. Why not? I believe the company is misleading a lot of people thinking it's a pure sine wave inverter. While it's in a description that it's modified, it's hidden all the way at the bottom. And let's be honest, 
who reads every word on the sales page. It should be mentioned in the title or at least the first description. That makes me question the whole company's integrity. So I would not get any of their equipment. I made a review about the Eastern inverter. Don't get this one as well. But if you want a reliable 600 watt inverter, I recommend getting the Gaiandel. I also made a review about this one. What do you think about this inverter and the company's sneaky tactics? And what inverter do you want me to review next? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.